What's going on everyone? George from SFA Cichlids here. I'm very excited to bring you guys this video today. We're going to be taking a look at the pond, some of the fish inside of the pond. I also did find a way to bring you guys some underwater footage, uh, which is really cool. You got to see the fish feeding and get a better look at them. But not only that, I also got a breeder box and the other day, usually on every Thursday, I do a water change and then Friday I pull almost all the fish out that have color just to take pictures and videos of them for anyone that might be interested so you guys get to see that and if you have if you want to see more of that just follow me on my instagram i'm going to be posting that every friday i post you know some fish that are available here and there and if you like this type of content please make sure to subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell YouTube has been having some problems recently and my videos aren't getting out there to all my 830 subscribers. So the method that I've been using for filming these underwater shots involves a Ziploc bag and your phone. Um, I would not recommend it. Luckily my phone is rated up to 3 meters of waterproof. Uh, but I don't feel very comfortable just sticking my phone's camera, you know, straight into the pond. So that's why I tried the Ziploc bag. I figured, you know, if some water seeps in, it won't be a big deal. So here we're looking at the dominant male of the group of dragon bloods that I got this past week. Uh, this guy is about three, three and a half inches or so. Each one of those little marks there is exactly one inch. It looks like he's three there, but he's off against the glass. He is very nice. Something that I've been doing recently is I have a very good friend and that lives about an hour and a half away and I actually uh, introduced him to the hobby and help him set his tanks up so I know he's doing everything right and his fish is healthy. So I'll go take a drive up there hopefully now every two weeks or so and pick up some fish from him and bring them down here just so that we know we have more variety to offer and um, his fish seem really healthy. And he's got a great fish room set up up there. He's got uh, three of the 300 gallon uh, water containers that he converted into, you know, uh, grow out tubs. And he's got a whole bunch of 40 gallons. He's got a breeding group of dragon bloods, a breeding group of OBs, um, things that, you know, that I don't have, or I have OBs, but his line is a little different from mine. He's also got some uh, Mangano. Uh, and Bunas and the Snow Whites which have bred for him in his display tank actually um, and he just got a new group of uh, Autopharyx uh, Lithobate Z-Rock uh, which he's breeding and I'm definitely going to be wanting to bring some of those in uh, to the pond so as you can see the pond it's got a little bit of everything we've got Mbunas in there we've got some peacocks all different sorts of color and you know that that's that's what people want down here and I'm not gonna lie it's uh, it's pretty hard for me to get rid of some of these fish sometimes because you go out there and I feed this pond you know two times a day and I see the colors when they come up and it's it, it's just crazy there's so such beautiful fish but yeah if, if you guys want to see like a fish room tour or something uh, showcasing his tanks and the way he's got it set up uh, he did everything really nice. He's got auto water change systems on mostly everything. Uh, problem that he faces is that his water actually comes in with uh, some ammonia. And um, so what he has to do is he has like a 55 gallon container that's holding his water for his water changes. Or sometimes he has, he has various of those. And he puts some ceramic media in there that's been seeded with biological... Uh, bacteria and he just waits you know a couple days till that ammonia gets turned into nitrates before he does water changes here you can see some more dragon bloods that i got from him his line his breeder male is very orange reddish in the shoulder and then his whole body is usually like pink with like pearl 
uh, and these guys definitely look just like him. The next fish you're going to see is pretty special to me. It's uh, OB uh, Mom times the Ruby Dad that I have. And he is very red and very, very colorful. He kind of looks like a mix of a red empress or something because of all the red and yellow he has. And the last fish you're about to see is the Mangano, so the Trophius Mangano. I got three of these from this guy uh, because it's just something else to spice up the variety. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.